I like the idea of starting a project and seeing it through to the end. Um, I, I definitely don't like the whole jumping around and having a thousand loose ends all at the same time. But one thing I've realized when it comes to this homesteading stuff, it's like if you don't jump around constantly, you're not ever getting anything done. And as much as I want to get this mess over here picked up today and cleaned up, I have to jump around. I have to like put this on the back burner because the garden is like top priority. Not only did I get the gar garden going because all my plants are starting to get um, root bound, they're, they're outgrowing their, their containers, but the medicinal herb garden in the front, the same thing's happening with all those plants. So um, top priority, got to get the garden up and running and then I can jump back to this. But it's like, I got to still make this a priority because I'm sure in like three, four days, I'm going to be looking for tools that are over here in this mess that I can't find. So it's just going to be another situation of spending more time looking for tools than I'm, than I'm spending using them. So anyway, today is all about getting stuff in the ground. Okay, a quick little recap. I had a frost a couple weeks back. It decimated everything in here. I rebounded, uh, planted some stuff, got the garden going up and running again, and past the frost date, past Mother's Day, and I got hit with another round of frost. Um, it looks like I, just maybe a handful of the cucumbers are suffering from it, but otherwise it looks like everything fared well through this. All right, I'm gonna step out into the garden. Farmer Jay's in here doing some transplanting. What are we transplanting? Poblanos? Poblanos. All right, so she's busy in here. I'll be busy out there. surprise surprise I'm pulling weeds and I found a carrot so you guys see what this looks like see the top yeah see the, yeah. See the leaves see on those. the top if you guys see anything like this we got more carrots out here huh oh, like well if you don't find a carrot at least you're helping pulling weeds all right guys let's all look for some carrots yay <laughs> yay <laughs> that's yeah. right oh my gosh it's like it's like Looking for treasure, except we're looking for carrots. Yep, looking for a vegetable. Oh, ladybug. Oh. Here, look at the look at this. Can look I at that this? plant. See the top? See the top leaves? Because that's all you're gonna see sticking out of the ground. It's just those top leaves. Kind of looks like parsley a little bit. I believe there's one right here. Yeah, let's see. Eh. No luck. Good try. Oh, hey, I think I might have found one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you found one. Let's see. Right here? Give it a shot. Let's see. What do we got in there? Nice! Yes, yes all right. Yes, Good nice. job. I got one. Now I'm going to look at these stems. Now you know what to look for, guys. Oh, Another look one. at that. Three carrots. Three carrots in a row. Carrots. You found some more carrots? Yeah, you found two. I pulled a couple weeds and look at what was Whoa. in there. Yes? Look at these! Let's see. That's a carrot! I Grab got it, car Grab I it got down one. close. Oh my goodness! Dude, that's a skinny carrot! We, I found. We're hitting the mother load here. Dad, I got a really skinny carrot! I have three, now this is my fourth. Hey, George, look how skinny of a carrot I found. Oh, look at that. I found one a carrot. real skinny one. one. See how many carrots we found? We got a lot of carrots. I've never had luck growing carrots, and these ones got overlooked and got grown over with the weeds and this was a nice little find to come across i know yep and the best part about it is the kids love carrots right guys yeah, yeah. all right it's our lucky day here I found this tool here on the property when we moved here and I'm glad it's here because I put it to a lot of good use.
ground cherries. This is what I'm gonna start out planting. Um, ground cherries, this variety is called a pineapple tomatillo. It's, it's not a tomatillo, it's a ground cherry, but it's in the same family as a tomatillo. I hope I'm getting that all right. And uh, they're already producing. In these little containers, they're already producing. I just touched this and it fell off. So they're really small, they're really sweet, they taste really good. I think these are gonna be pretty heavy producers. So anyway, they're already, they're already popping off, so I really wanna get these in the ground. Last year, Farmer Jay picked these ground cherries up from a farmer's market. She only had a handful of them, but we liked them so much that we kept the seeds. So we're gonna go heavy on these. And I also have these tomatillos. These I got from Baker Creek and they're purple tomatillo. So I already know these are gonna be real heavy producers because we grew these last year and they just produce like crazy. So I got a lot more than this, but these ones gotta get in the ground right now. This row is gonna be nothing but crimson watermelon. I know it doesn't seem like a whole lot of space, but as long as I come out here every day and just kind of keep training the vines to stay within that row, it will grow just fine, and I'll have complete control over all of this, and I'll still have my walkway. I've had great success with it in the last few years doing it that way. Okay, I'm gonna sleep really good tonight, I'll tell you. I did a lot of work out here today. Um, up here, this row here is nothing but crimson watermelon. And then we got in this row, I've got zucchini. I've learned my lessons with zucchini. I'm keeping those right by the door. When I walk in, it's gonna be one of the first things I see so they don't get way out of control and I lose track of them. But we got zucchini up there and then down here at the bottom of the row, there's a, there's a lot of empty space in this row. Um, but I've got two tomatillos down here that needed to get into the ground. So those are in there and then I've got a lot more space to get a lot more tomatillos because they're still on the 1020 trays. So once the tomatillos that just got up potted get a little bit bigger, we'll fill this in with some more tomatillos. And then over here, we got nothing but ground cherries. The tomatoes are looking good. And then I'm kind of nervous about all these watermelon back, or not watermelon, but all these cucumbers back here because they looked pretty good this morning. But here at the end of the day, they're looking terrible. I'm not sure if it's, do I need to fertilize them or if it's, they're showing they're showing damage from the frost that hit a few days ago because I know the first frost I thought oh everything's fine and then it, it took a uh, took a little bit of time before the damage started to show so I'm hoping I don't know I don't know what to think about this I'm gonna just touch and go with them so I'll just give it a couple of days and keep my eyes on them otherwise um, there's still a lot to do in here I've got all these trellises that I haven't even touched yet and um, I don't know there's there's a lot to do out here still Okay, I'm in the greenhouse. Farmer Jay has been busting it out while I was out in the garden, up potting a bunch of stuff. We've got a bunch of birdhouse gourds, all kinds of pepper plants, some, what do we got here? Pumpkins, we got sour gherkins, and then we still got this to do, but she's made a humongous amount of progress in here. And then, oh, just, what do we got over here? We got all this she did, oh my God. Okay, we got tomatoes. Tomatoes galore up here. What else did you get? I just did that. Tomatoes, okay. So we got all these tomatoes up there. A lot of atomic grapes. Um, but we still got a bunch of plants in here. We're just getting overwhelmed with plants here. I think, I think it pretty much at this point is safe to say we both feel like we've outgrown the garden and definitely starting to feel like we're out, we've outgrown the greenhouse. But nothing to do but keep chugging forward, so. Still lots to do out there at the garden. We'll uh, keep plugging away. That's all for today. Thanks for joining me, guys. Later, YouTube.